All right, no more messing around. So we're going all the way in. We're doing an AI that responds to my YouTube comments today. If you missed my last video, which uh, almost 100% of you guys did, I talked about the GPT machine learning algorithms that are made for free on anyone on the internet. Now I'm notoriously bad at responding to comments that kind of build up and then I don't even want to look at them. Is that bad? Uh, but what I'm thinking is this bot can respond for us and uh, I don't think it'll be too hard at all. We just have to combine what we already know with web scraping and then just feed a comment into our model, which is already built and uh, just see what it comes up with. I mean, it probably won't be that good, but maybe we're going to get some funny results out of it. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to get this stuff up and running right now and it shouldn't take too long at all. Over here on GitHub, it's already open source and we can download whatever models we want. And this M is for million parameters. Parameters are like the neurons of your model. So what I'm thinking is we download the smallest one, then we also get the largest one, which is 1.5 billion. And this was the one originally determined too dangerous to release to the public. So we'll see how realistic it could be on the high end. When you have a salary, waiting for things to install is great because you can just get up, get a quest bar, and you're still getting paid. As a struggling YouTuber though, the key is to keep yourself distracted anything to avoid thinking about whether your channel is ever going to rebound after you took a two month break. Okay, with our models installed, we can generate conditional samples. That is, we give it a prompt and it will try to continue that text for us. And uh, let's see if it can generate us something funny. Is Aaron Jack the best tech YouTuber? Probably not. <gasps> okay, Aaron Jack isn't going to get you. Aaron Jack might get you. There are a lot of good things you can do with Aaron, but they're not good for you. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I've now begun to create a few sample comments delineated by one and two. So this is the original comment. Number two is the response. Now I'm hoping by feeding in this pattern, the AI will be able to pick up on it and continue. So if I feed in uh, another one, which is our input, then the model will generate a two intelligently or at least as intelligently as the smallest model can give us. Our input will be uh, generated like here. And then we'll also append a two and we'll say, okay, two, then your turn, computer. <laughs> so I'll start that up and we can see our prompt right here, comment. So we'll just type in a comment we want. Uh, let's say it wasn't bad, but wasn't great either. Okay, so this is just what it's passing in. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of doing it. We're kind of not. Let's bump it up to be a little bit smarter and see if we can get a better results. So I'll actually download the 355 as well. Just got to change that here. We've got the larger one downloaded and I also kind of doubled the uh, amount of sample comments we pass in. Now let's run that one with the 355 model. Let's just say, um, nice one, bro, or person one. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? <laughs> Seems like it understands the format, but okay, one more try with this size. Yeah, this is kind of screwed up, but maybe if we just capture like the first two quote colon we find, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't freaking know. For now, let's just bump up the model one more time. So we'll download 774 and bump it up here too. Okay, I was getting a little demoralized, but this one's actually working pretty damn well. All of these request responses make sense. All of them. So that's freaking sweet. So we, you know what? I'm going to say this is good. Let's keep going and let's actually connect this to YouTube. Of course, we have to try the biggest model too. I'm a little concerned how long it's going to take and what it's going to do to my computer, but let's do it anyway. Starting at 11, 16. Oh my God. I have to, show, I have to show you guys this. So not too bad. It only took until 11, 18. I thought I was going to show like a 30 minute difference, but you guys have to see what this says. This is a, this is borderline disturbing. So the input was 
Another good one, dude. Glad you're posting more. Yeah, then I don't know. I'll let you guys read this. I can't even read this out loud. First shit gets weird. Then shit gets real weird. Not sure how to transition from that. So web scraping. <laughs> I know we said we were going to use web scraping, but let's actually try to use the YouTube API because it's actually not a moral gray area. I have access to all my own comments and you can even, to my understanding, send a comment through the API. So it's going to get the comments from YouTube and then we're it's going to go into our uh, machine learning algorithm. This is a robot in case you are uh, wondering. And finally, it will go back to YouTube posting our responses. Uh, they actually just give you code you can copy and paste and then you just add your API key uh, to that. I mean, you can see mine. I don't care. I'm going to delete it right after, <laughs> but uh, you just paste the right in. Then you take a video ID from the end of a video. And in theory, you should be able to get all the comments. Now, absolutely best thing about Python right here, interactive shell. So we can just do that and then we can do different things with this uh, function here. Now, I don't want to bore you guys, but through messing with the interactive shell, I was able to convert uh, the raw JSON into a format that we want, which is just the ID of the comment and the text. Uh, the ID will allow us to respond to it and the text will give us something to feed our machine learning algorithm. So right now we have a working solution that maps over the video comments. Uh, so we can do extract all comments. Got all that? <laughs> so this is the machine learning step. We're testing it now. Let's go. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Okay, guys, I think we're I think we're good to go. I just um, added the post comment handler, which is done by YouTube, so it should just work out of the box and. Uh, I do have to do this. I do have to add from GPT-2 onto the end, <laughs> just in case it leaves anything completely ridiculous. I don't want, you know, I don't want the witch hunt to come at me. As we know, this thing's not politically correct. Okay, so let's fire it up. Got nothing to lose, baby. Let's go. We're running it and it's going to generate all the uh, responses and then it's going to post all of them one after another through the YouTube API. And uh, instead of walking you through one by one, we'll look at the highlights and, you know, we'll look at them on YouTube, actually. It's going to be entertaining. Also, I'm sorry to disappoint if you left a comment on my last video, if you don't get a response, because I think this is only doing the first page of comments. That being said, if this video gets 20,000 likes, I will make this respond to every single comment on this video. I'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, let's let this thing run. Going in fast forward. Okay, guys, as expected, it only responded to uh, the first page of comments, so only around 20 successfully posted. But here they all are. And uh, I thought we could look at them directly on YouTube. But overall, they were mostly like very believable responses. And there are a few that were pretty funny. Here's one example. Comment was, dude, you're processing your audio way too much. Sounds like crap in my headphones. True. I switched mics. Uh, but GPT-2 decided to say, calm down, bro. I love it. Yeah, a few don't make sense, you know, to be expected. <laughs> okay, here's another good one. Comment, AI isn't politically correct, neither is reality. Get over it. GPT-2. Yeah, that's the way I feel about my hair. <laughs> okay, just one more. Comment, the government will use AI to control us all and or leftist companies like YouTube, Google, Facebook will use it to control us. Uh, response, this is just state aggression. Are you going crazy with hashtags? Okay, that one actually wasn't that funny, but anyway. <laughs> all right, that's about all I've got. Like I said, if this video gets 20,000, yeah, it's a lot, but we can do it. Uh, then I will have GPT-2 respond to every single comment on this video, not just the first page. So let's try to get there. And I'm sure the more comments we do, the more funny uh, responses we'll get. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one.
Uh, I will catch you guys soon for more projects, more news. And uh, you never know what you're going to get. <sighs> All right. Catch you guys soon.